Hi friends, today's lesson is for module three, lesson 24. Our learning goal for today says, I can identify sets of objects that are one less. Do you know what that means to be less of something? Yeah, it means we don't have as much and, or we have fewer. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare sets of groups and we're gonna find the one that has one less. Let me show you. As you can see, our screen, our screen is split up into two sides. On one side it says how many cupcakes, and on the other side it says draw one less tomato than cupcakes. All right, so in order to draw our tomatoes, we need to know how many cupcakes we have to begin with. All right, so what can we do, friend? Yeah, we can tap on the cupcakes and count as we tap. Go ahead and do it with me. One, two, three. Perfect, so I have three cupcakes. Now on our last lesson, when we were practicing one more, we drew the same amount and then we just added one more as we counted on. Today what you're gonna do, I recommend counting and stopping before you would get to the same amount. Let me show you. I'm gonna go ahead and draw tomatoes, but before I draw the number three tomato, I'm gonna stop. Let's see. One, two, Three. Oh, no, no, I don't want to say three because I want to have one less than three. Perfect. One, two. I have two tomatoes, and that's one less than three. I know because if I don't get to three and I say the number right before it, that's one less because the number right before is one less. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and try with these, ooh, delicious french fries. I should just warn you, friend, I think today's lesson might make you a little hungry. I'm so sorry. But I hope you get a big lunch or a big dinner. Okay, so how many french fries? Can you go ahead and count and tell me how many french fries there are? Yeah, you don't have to count the individual fries, just like the package of fries. Good question. Perfect, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, five. Now it says draw one less avocado than fries. Avocado, I mean, I love those, but do you even know what an avocado is? You do? Oh, well, they're delicious. If you don't, I'm so sorry for you. You should try them someday. All right, now the thing about avocados is we don't really see them a ton, and so maybe you don't know how to draw them. That's okay. What can we draw instead of drawing a whole avocado? Yeah, you can just draw a quick circle. Good job, friend. Remember in math, it's not all about the artwork part. It's just about getting the problem and practicing the skill. So go ahead and feel free to draw a circle. Now, the strategy that I said we were gonna do is to go ahead and draw our picture and stop before we say the number that would make it the same amount. All right, so watch. I know for, there are five french fries. So can you count with me? And when before I say five, can you please yell stop so I don't go too far? Thank you. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was some good yelling. Yeah, four. I'm going to stop right there because my next number would be five, and I want to have one less, and four is one less than five. Good job. You are doing such a fantastic job. You know what? I'm going to put you to work. Can you please go ahead and press pause and go get your dry erase board and your marker because I want to see if you can draw one less as well. Get your materials and then press play when you're ready. Okay, are you all set, friend? Here we go. Ooh, look at all those delicious carrots. It says, how many carrots? On the other side, it says, draw one less kiwi than carrots. Okay, friend, the first thing we need to do is what? Yeah, we need to figure out how many carrots we have, otherwise we won't be knowing how many kiwi to draw. Can you go ahead and count the carrots and then let me know how many you see? Yeah, I agree, this is tricky to count the carrots because they're all over the place and they're little, right? Go ahead and tap on each one if you need to and go very slowly. Perfect, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Did you get seven? Ugh, you are such a good counter. All right, perfect. Now it says draw one less kiwi than carrots. Friend, if you don't know what a kiwi looks like, uh, what could you draw instead? Circles. What a good idea. Okay, go ahead and press pause. I want you to draw one less kiwi than carrots and then press play to check yourself. 
Okay, did you draw those good kiwis or circles? You should have one less than seven. How did you figure it out? Tell me. Ooh, I like that strategy. Anyone else do anything different? Mm. We do know there's not just one way to solve a problem, so maybe you all figured it out a different way. This is how I solved it. I went ahead and I drew kiwis until I got to seven, and I didn't draw the seventh one. I stopped right before it. I did this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do seven because I know the number right before seven is one less. So how many kiwis do I have, friend? Yeah, I have six. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six. How did you do? How many do you have? You have six as well? Oh, friend, excellent job. All right, erase your board. You're going to try another one, okay? All right, if I move on too fast, you press pause and get caught up. Don't worry about racing to meet with me because I know I talk fast sometimes. All right, your dry erase board should be totally clear. Here we go. How many slices of pizza? And then on the other side it says, draw one less eggplant than slices of pizza. Okay, before we get into that eggplant business, which I don't even remember what an eggplant looks like, um, I need to figure out how many slices of pizza. So go ahead and tell me, friend, how many slices of pizza do you see? Yes, mm, four delicious slices. I think I know what I'm going to have for lunch. All right, now it says draw one less eggplant than slices of pizza. I have no idea if I could draw an eggplant because I don't really remember what it looks like. So what should I do? Oh, thank you, friend. I'm just going to draw circles. Thank you for helping me out. All right, so draw one less eggplant than slices of pizza. I know there's four pizza slices. So go ahead and you draw it. Press play to check yourself. Okay, did you press pause while you did your good work? All right, here we go. So it said one less. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw eggplants and I'm going to stop before I say four because I know the number right before four would be one less. One, two, three, four. Oh, four would be the next number. I don't want to draw that. I don't want the same amount. Okay, how many eggplants do I have compared to pizzas? Yeah, three. Three is one less than four. Excellent job. Do you see how I just drew quick circles? Yeah, that was way easier than drawing those big lumpy eggplants. All right, friends, you are rocking and rolling, and I think that you're doing such a good job with our learning goal. Our learning goal said, I can identify, and that just means find, sets of objects that are one less. And that's exactly what we've been working on. All right, it's your turn. I want you to go ahead and seesaw a video to your teacher. It says, how many pieces of broccoli? You're going to need to count the pieces of broccoli. And then it says, draw one less triangle than pieces of broccoli. And then write how many you have. All right? So we're comparing the broccoli and one less triangle. Send that on Seesaw, and good luck, friends.